Growing up conversations with people who really know their stuff as ever here on The Money. And today I'm talking to Martin McTague. He's National Chair for the Federation of Small Businesses. Martin, fabulous to have you with us here on The Money. Maggie Holmes is a small business owner. She's at the front line. She runs the Odd Fellows Arms pub in Sherbourne in Elmert up in North Yorkshire. Great to have you with us too, Maggie, and indeed in the studio, Helen Thomas, the founder and CEO of Blonde Money. Always worth listening to. Great to have you on the show as well, Helen. Martin, let's turn to you first. Tell us a bit more about this Federation of Small Business survey. You are a very influential lobby group for small firms. You have thousands and thousands of members across the UK. I took some optimism from the survey, given the increase in the overall confidence index. Was I right? Yeah, you are right, because I think uh, most small business owners are naturally optimistic. It's, it's with an, in our DNA that we should be optimistic. But they're struggling against some pretty heavy uh, headwinds. If you take, for example, the fact that, you know, COVID hasn't completely gone away for a lot of small firms. They've got a lot of workplace absence. That's making it tough to try and fill and, and operate at full tilt. Uh, nine out of 10 of them are seeing operating costs increase. That's the highest we've ever seen in our survey. Skill shortages are still a big problem. And it's hard for them to compete with the bigger companies because the big companies will always outbid them on, on uh, salaries and benefits. And of course, with the national insurance uh, increase, that makes life even more difficult. And of course, the other factor is business rates are back, which makes it difficult for a lot of retailers. Indeed, business rates, those taxes that small businesses really don't like, you pay them on the value of the property that you operate in. You pay them whether you make profit or not, whether you take any revenue in or not. Don't you, Maggie? You'll know all about that, Maggie Holmes, at the Odd Fellows Arms pub up there yeah. in North Yorkshire. Yes, you certainly do. And um, although it was a nice break for us to have it, to come back and have these business rates start up again, it is money you've got to find whether the doors are open or not, whether you're busy or not, you have got to find that money. So it is a difficult time in that sense. Although we do have quite a lot of optimism at the moment, we're, we're busy, but on the, on the double-edged sword is that we've also got the rising uh, suppliers' costs and everything else. And again, as, as the last gentleman said about the uh, COVID, that's still hanging about. You've got workplace problems where people can't get into work still. So it's all, it's all, um, yeah, it's all playing its part. It certainly hasn't gone away. It's worth stressing, isn't it, Maggie, that not only have business rates now returned for small firms, there was a reprieve during COVID, yeah. Pubs like yours, you were only being charged 5% and then 12.5% VAT. Now that's gone back to full fat, 20% VAT, no reprieve anymore for the hospitality industry, plus higher supplier costs, as you said, plus higher fuel bills, uh, heating yes. bills and so on. You know, it's all about cash flow, isn't it? How is your cash flow, if I might ask you such an impertinent question? Because we all know that cash is king. And if a business, small business, can't keep their liquidity, then they fold. Yes. Um, cash flow at the moment, we are seeing we've gone back to levels that we had pre-COVID, particularly at the weekend. But I would have said pre-COVID, we couldn't tell whether it was payday or not. It was all the same every week, and now we are seeing a real change. We can tell when people have been paid and the weekend's going to be busy, uh, which was something we didn't have to think about before, uh, because you'll stand in looking, oh, no, way, it's quiet to the, oh, it's not, it's not pay weekend, it's not this, it's not that. And although we do have good figures and we are keeping our head above water and paying the bills, there is a real change in, um, yeah, how much is left at the end of the day, shall we say. There's a, a real change and you think, gosh, that's really gone up. It's little things, just like the oil that we have for cooking, that's doubled in price. You know, when I came in here, it was £16. It's now 32 for the same amount of oil. And all these things add up and 
getting hold of, of, of your supplies as well that's that's been difficult as well fish in particular that's that's been hard to come by but where do you do what do you do do you pass it on and then risk losing custom I think we've just seen there Helen Thomas a perfect encapsulation you've got the national chair of the Federation of Small Businesses you got Maggie Holmes there running her pub in North Yorkshire. And it's a popular pub. The Oddfellows Arms is a well-known local pub. This is a thriving business usually. And both of them, Martin and Maggie, their view on the future for small businesses, whether they're optimistic, it's yes, but, 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 lots of buts. What can the government do? Because so many small businesses, their owners, their swing voters, really pivotal members of the local community, both parties need to attract them, don't they? What can they do? Well, you know, me, I like to have a big picture view on all of this. You know, I, I, I'm here for the macroeconomics of it. And we should stand back a moment and say, look at what we've been through. You know, not only that pandemic, which is still with us, as we're hearing, and will, I'm afraid, continue to be. Now we have the war. Now we have a combination, actually, of supply chain problems, not just from the, the war. Um, we, we've all heard about commodities from Russia and Ukraine, but China. Yeah. China's shutting down again yeah. at exactly the same time, where you know ships are literally just sitting, unable to get uh, their goods off and into a port. So, um, so inflation, which we've talked about a lot, uh, is here to stay. So what, what I would say in the, with the context of all of that is I'm, I'm, I'm quite reassured by this survey, which was your initial yeah. sense, wasn't it? The headline so, is positive. The headline certainly Business is positive. Business confidence is up among our small firms. But what we're seeing, and, and, and the question we just heard there from, from the owner of the pub, is it Maggie? Yeah. Was saying, um, you know, there's going to come a point of do they pass on those yep. cost to cut consumers. Now, the other element of this survey that we might get into is some firms are having to pay people more. If your pay packet's going up, maybe people will spend more mm. on the weekend. But the, but the real big issue to all of this is it's a mixed bag because some people might have more money, might be going out. Some people, it's a completely different story. And that uneven element is what the government should be looking at. Well, look, let's carry on this important discussion off the break, Helen. Martin Matej of the Federation of Small Businesses and indeed Maggie Holmes, the owner of the Oddfellows Arms Pub in Sherbourne, will stay with us. The really big question here is, will these small firms pass on those higher input costs to consumers? They have to in the end. The CPI, the headline rate of inflation, is 7%. The PPI, the producer price index, in March, that was 19.2%. We'll be discussing all that after the break. 